hello children today i am going to teach you mathematics and uh, the exercise is 6.2 the first question and the sub part 1 it uh, reads that if the cost price of 12 shirts is equal to the selling price of 10 shirts then the profit percent is how much it is here out of these four options you have to find one which is correct look here how has it been done look here i have done it here now look here so let the cp of one set be rupees 1 cp of one set is equal to rupees 1 cp of 12 sets how many here rupees 12 now look here the sp of 10 set is equal to 12 in the question it says that okay the C S P of ten set is equal to the C P of twelve sets. The C P of twelve sets is rupees twelve. Therefore, the S P of ten set is rupees twelve. Therefore, S P of one set how much will you get now? Look here, twelve by ten, and that is one point two. Then the profit is how much here now? Look here, the profit C P of one set is one, and the S P of one set is one point two. Therefore, the profit is here. The you know here the S P is sp is greater than cp therefore the profit is equal to 0.2 rupees and the profit percent is equal to profit into 100 by cp the profit is 0.2 into 100 and the cp is rupee 1 the cp is rupee 1 here now like here so you getting 20% so the 20 is the answer right now the sub part 2 okay in this question now it's that uh this is question number 3 is not 2 but it's 3 it is a part 3 a shopkeeper sold two t- tables for rupees 1485 each on one he gains 10% and on the other he loses 10% his gain or loss percent in the whole transaction is how much out of these four options one is correct and that you have to find Okay, look here. He has bought two f- tables. Okay, and the price of table of uh, one table is one thousand four hundred eighty-five, and the other is also one thousand four hundred eighty-five. Okay, on one he gained ten percent. He sold at a gain of ten percent, and the other he sold at a loss of ten percent. So in the whole transaction. Okay, what is the gain or loss percent you have to find? So it's like this. Look here, case number one for the first table it is. So CP of one table is equal to rupees one thousand four hundred eighty five. Gain is equal to ten percent. Therefore SP SP the formula to find CP into one hundred plus profit divided by hundred. Okay, so the CP is one thousand four hundred eighty five into hundred plus ten divided by hundred. So how much you are getting? You are getting one thousand six hundred thirty-three rupees fifty paise. Yes. Okay. The CP of the table was one thousand four hundred eighty-five, and after selling, he is getting one thousand six hundred thirty-three rupees fifty paise. Is okay. Now look here. For the second okay table, for the second table now, it is. CP of the table is the same. Okay, it is one thousand four hundred eighty-five. His loss is ten percent. Therefore, SP is how much here? This is the formula for finding SP. SP to CP into one hundred minus ten divided by hundred. So the after calculation we are getting here one thousand three hundred thirty-three, one thousand one thousand three hundred thirty-six rupees fifty paise. Okay. For the second table, he is getting SP. Okay, this much. Now the total CP is how much here? Okay, one thousand four hundred eighty-five plus one thousand four hundred eighty-five. It comes to be two thousand nine hundred seventy. And the total SP, total SP means this SP. Okay, this SP and and look here, this SP. How much it is here? It is two thousand nine hundred seventy. Okay, total SP is in our. What you see is that now here, both 
CP of the two table is same as the SP of the two table. Therefore, CP is equal to SP. Therefore, no loss, no gain. So the answer C is correct. It's right. Now, question number three. A dealer bought 80 cricket bats for rupees 50 each. 80 cricket bats. He sold 10 percent of the bat at the rate of rupees 40 each, and the remaining bats at the rate of 50 each. Find the loss percentage. Okay, he bought 80 cricket bats. Okay, and the cost of one bat is rupees 50. And out of that out of 10 percent of that he sold at the rate of rupees 40 okay his okay and the remaining he sold at rupees 50 it is each remaining so what is his loss percent look here i have done it here so the total uh okay, the total cp of cricket bats because CP of 1 is 50 rupees, therefore 50 into 80, so it is 4000. Means he had bought the total bats at 4000 rupees. Okay, now he's, he sold 10% of that at the rate of rupees 40 each, therefore 10% of 80, how much it is? 8. And the remaining bat, how much here now? So 80 minus 80 is 72. So, okay. Now, SP of of, of uh, 10 percent of bats, it is rupees 40 into 8, because one bat, SP of one is bat is 40, and the SP of 8 bat will be 320. Now, the SP of remaining bat, how much is remaining here now? 80 minus 8 is 72, so 50 into 72, so we are getting 3600. So the total SP of 80 bears how much here? This plus this. So 320 plus 3600 is comes to be uh, it comes to be 3920. Okay, and how much is the CP? CP is 4000. Look here. CP is there no? CP, this is CP. This is CP. This is CP this is CP for 4000 here now. Therefore, okay, look like ahead, CP is greater than SP. CP is 4000 and SP is 3920. Therefore, CP is greater than SP. Therefore, okay, he is suffering loss. And how much the loss is equal to? 4000 minus 3920. So it comes to be rupees 80. Now, loss percentage is equal to loss into 100 by CP. So, loss is how much here? 80 into 100 by 4000. 